sometimes you get the impression in this debate this is more about trying to save the future of the Conservative Party than it is about the North Sea. And I'm afraid that does too often happen. We need to have an understanding that we're trying to get a, co a comprehensive strategy that works. So I would like, for instance, Home Energy Scotland to improve their act and get the grants out the door much more quickly for those installers who are desperate to put heat pumps in place. I would love to have a future agricultural su support mechanism that's in place to help farmers reduce their climate change emissions on farms, but it took years to get into place. I'm afraid it was one of the rare occasions that Mike Rumbles was right. We should have had this in place a long time ago. In terms of public transport, we need to get more people into public transport, but it takes years to get any strategy that's consistent and working over time. On renewables, we need to make sure the consenting process is much more swift, that we have the infrastructure, including housing, in place to house the workers. We need to improve. I've only got, uh, I have only got four minutes. The supply chain. We need to make sure that supply chain is there in Scotland, and some of that's working, but in places like Bifab, we failed miserably. But then on skills, where we implemented an offshore wind skills programme through the budget process. But why has that skills programme not been in place for years? We've known this was coming for a long time. Why is everything so reactive and so delayed? We need to focus on delivery rather than all the rhetoric about the North Sea, because I have to say, I don't know how many times we've had this debate and we say the same things over and over and over again. We need to have consistency on message, but also consistency and early action on delivery and stick with it. Stick with the plan. Make sure it's done. Make sure we've got the funding that goes with it to make it happen. Otherwise, people out there are utterly confused about what this Parliament is saying.